every night, I've been doing this show from home. I've been checking in with some of our famous friends in their homes. And tonight, we are joined by one of the funniest people of all. I can only imagine what it must be like to lock, be locked up with him right now. His wife is a very lucky lady, suffice it to say. All the way from New Jersey, let's say hello to Tracy Morgan. Hello, what up? Tracy. What up? Now, Tracy, What's thanks up? for joining us. How are you? I'm chilling, yo. Yo, you said my wife was a lovely lady? Can I use profanity? Yes, go right ahead, of course. We need some profanity right now. You know what she said to me earlier? What? You've been stuck in this house for two weeks? She said, I'm going to kill you, mother <laughs> <laughs> What did you do to elicit that reaction, Tracy? Was it anything in particular? I'm or just, just here. Over? She's tired of looking at <laughs> <in> my face. <laughs> Now, this is your house, right? This is she said, your, your... don't you got a Walmart truck to get hit by a mother... <laughs> <laughs> you, I see a T-Rex flashing in the background. It looks like a Dave and Buster's, but this is what, your bowling yeah, alley? Yeah, that's an arcade game I brought for my daughter. There's a big arcade down here. I got a couple of arcades down here. Yo, man, this is the longest I've ever been stuck in my house without wearing an ankle monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, do you would you agree with me when I, I say that the difference between being rich and being very rich is a bowling alley in your house? That to me is that's the line. How many lanes do you have? There's only two lanes in here. Two lanes, that's enough. And it looks like your bowling yeah. balls look like billiard balls. What pound ball do you throw typically? Let me see this one. Where's yeah, my, take a look. This is, my ball right here. this is my personal ball. I have my ball personally made for me. Nice. So how many pounds is it? See, it says TM right there. TM. That's not so trademarked. That's <laughs> pretty much every logo says TM on it. Yeah. And are you good? What's your like? What's your average? Do you know? I ain't good, man. <laughs> this is all for the looks, brother. How often do you actually bowl? Black on that people bowling be alley? bowling? <laughs> huh? I'm from the Tracy. projects, man. I said, when I grow up, I'm going to give me a house with a bowling alley in it. Voila! <laughs> How many people are in your house right now living with you? Your wife, of course, who's yeah. ready to kill you. Your daughter. My wife and my daughter. My wife That's and it. my daughter. Then I Nobody got sharks. Else. And I got moray eel. What does a moray eel eat? What does a moray eat? Yeah. Other morays. <laughs> really? Yo, a Jim, moray? Yeah, this, they're cannibals, man. Yo, this is crazy times we living in, man. I never saw any white people in the unemployment office, man. <laughs> Are you worried about the economy right now, about what will happen to the American economy? Hell no. Black people ain't never had no money. <laughs> so have you been doing the thing, Tracy, where, you know, people have been going White out. people going crazy. You know why white people going crazy during these times? Because they closed down the Starbucks, man. <laughs> you think that's what's got everyone on edge? <laughs> Starbucks. They can't get their latte, man. <laughs> have you been doing that thing where you go out in the driveway and you hang out with your neighbors and you, you're six feet away from them, like a social distancing neighborhood party? Let me tell you something, man. I can't do the social distancing stuff. Okay, I went to hug my mother and she gave me her elbow. Oh, really? <laughs> not right. It's not right. Then she proceeded to ask me for money. Oh, my goodness. Have any of your family and members? She said she's social distancing from me, so she want me to Venmo it to her. <laughs> Have any of your uh, family members suggested that they might move into your big house with you? Yeah, my cousin going to talk, call and tell me he lost his job. I said, you ain't never had a job, damn it. <laughs> tell you were... me for money. It also make you want to call up your exes on the phone and say, you need some? You need some toilet paper? Can I come over there and help you out with supplies? <laughs> so you can rekindle stuff with your exes. Yes, you can rekindle as long as you don't touch anybody. Are you getting a touch I'm hurt right now? because they closed down baseball, they closed down NBA, and they also closed down strip clubs. 
Oh, wh which are you most upset about, baseball, NBA, or strip clubs? Strip clubs, man! <laughs> Is that a trick <laughs> question, Jim? I never <laughs> thought I'd see the time in my life where I gotta go to a drive through strip club. <laughs> Is that what you've been resorting to? A drive through strip club, huh? I, I don't really go to the strip club. I told you I was hard on them strippers. I used to go to the strip club with uh, the pants, the sweatpants that Rocky wore. Yeah. With no drawers right. on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tracy, you know, I've noticed Somebody that... Somebody get pregnant in the boom boom room. <laughs> I noticed, I don't know if you noticed, that NBA players, got, all of them seem to have been tested for the coronavirus. And whereas it's almost, it's very difficult to get a test unless you've got very severe symptoms. What do you make of that? I don't know about that, but I know yesterday my cousin called me. He said he was with this new girl, and he was thinking, uh -huh. he thought he was being responsible. He had the, the, the mask on and the gloves on, and he ended up getting gonorrhea. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, well, he put everything yes. on and forgot the condom. <laughs> I guess the, yeah, the mask is not going to help. He said, everybody got the virus and I get gonorrhea. Hi, <laughs> double clap. That's the thing about gonorrhea. It doesn't care about the coronavirus. And she gave him a severe case of crabs. <laughs> Tracy, you may know this, but each night that we've been doing these interviews, I have been making a donation to the charity of our guest choice, and you are the guest tonight, so you get to choose the charity. What charity did you choose as our, our donee tonight? I'm gonna choose Stand Up For Cancer, because I know we're living in some hard times with this virus, and I really wanna keep a focus on cancer, too, because people are still dying because of cancer. And I've had a lot of people in my family, including my ex-wife, pass away from it. So I really right. wanna bring awareness to that. I want to bring I think that's... So please, if you're out there, dig down deep. Don't be cheap. Remember, when you donate to these causes, you save a life. And this is in my, 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 my first wife's name and in her honor. So please, dig down deep. I know Excellent. I'm funny, but I'm dead serious about this. Go to StandUpToCancer.org to make that donation. I think that's an excellent choice, Tracy. Before we go, I do want to mention that the last OG is coming back for a new season to TBS starting April 7th. And also, Spoonie Love, your character, returns for a new season of Crank Anchors yes, premiering Spoonie! Wednesday night on Comedy Central. Now, Tracy, before we go, would you mind bowling? We'd love to see your form. Would you mind throwing a ball for us? I got you. All right, let's see. Here we go. Tracy Morgan, he has a bowling alley, so why not use it? All right, he selected the orange stripe ball. And here we go. Tracy is right down the center. Oh, well done, Tracy, with the nine. Tracy Morgan, everybody. Thank you, Tracy. Beautifully done.